Hello, audience hunter here, and welcome to one of my favorite games, actually. Welcome to Dead Space 2, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before you guys think I'm getting lazy with these horror games, there will be another horror game this at some point this week, but I love this game, okay? This, this was, um, this was, uh, one of those games where I was looking forward to it, and it fucking delivered. That happened a lot in 2011, which was the year that this game came out, by the way. Uh, this was a 2011 game, which, if I may say, really fucking good year for video games, 2011 was. Really fucking good year for video games, because we had a lot of cool shit that year. We had shit like Skyrim, Portal 2, all kinds of stuff. And of course this. We had this. And that was like my favorite year for video games, and they have yet to top it. We'll, we'll see what happens this year. I don't know, Fallout 4 is coming out this year, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. But no, this one I absolutely loved. Okay, I absolutely love this one. This was actually, um... Isaac, what happened? Are you alright? Why are you helping me? Oh yeah, because Isaac talks in this one. Die. Including me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. And, uh... This was supposed to be the hacking thing, but... It isn't. <laughs> Yeah, right now, the that, like, gun-looking thing that we have, hold on, this thing, it's just a flashlight. Yeah, that's a flashlight. That's an interesting fucking flashlight. Anyway, so for right now, we get to use, um, the game's new, uh, impalement engine, which, now, at the time, it was impressive, but now... It really fucking isn't. Because it just pegs them into the wall. Now, now we would look at that and think that's like basic physics right there. Basic game physics. There's really not that much the impalement engine. Don't get me wrong, I love it. It's very, it, it's very nice for what it does and what, and it does it well. Also, this was the game that introduced the uh, pulling limbs off of dead uh, necromorphs to uh, throw at the ones that are still alive. It's actually that that's actually really cool. I do like that. Uh, I, I again, I love this game. I, I do love this game. Like it set itself apart from the first game enough to be to like make it make it its own game, and um, it didn't stray too far from the original to make it feel alien to that. Those power outlets in the elevator—that's a weird ass looking power outlet, if it is. Yeah, yeah evacuation. Uh, can can the evacuation wait though? Fighting zombies. Sorry, necromorphs. They're technically not zombies. <laughs> I keep messing that up. I don't know why. I do. But I do. <laughs> no. Another thing you'll notice is that this game looks a hell of a lot nicer. Um. Uh, freaking uh, on my, uh, on th the game looks a hell of a lot nicer. Okay, which is which is it, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Like um, for 2011, this looked really good. And um, another thing, oh yeah, that that f freaks you out a little bit, right there. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't really pay much attention to it though. Sorry. Melee! This was the game where they brought in the thing you have to slam and welcome to the jam. Ah yes, this bit. Actually, hold on, there's an easter egg. If we look over here, there's the visceral um, symbol right there. The V. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Shut up. <laughs> okay. 
<clears throat> get there. Calm down. I'll cut okay. you out of there. Are you a doctor? Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my god! Fuck! What the fuck are you oh, doing? Shit! Help! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying! Well, he's dead. Oh, so the plasma cutter makes a return in this game. How it's able to rotate and everything like that is beyond me, but who cares? It's fun. Um, but yeah, the, there's actually a better reloading animation now rather than... Oh, you're still alive. Okay. There's actually a better reload animation now rather than him just moving his hands over the gun like an idiot. Because... Because he isn't, because, because, because. In the first game, he really felt like a freaking errand boy. Also, I love that he just jury rigs a fucking plasma cutter onto the uh, flashlight. Also, it still drives me nuts, the rotating thing. Like, why can't you just use your hand to rotate it? And it's beyond me. What the? Oh. There we go. <laughs> Got the... Hit him closer. Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. But yeah, um, yeah. Throughout this game, we're like um, meeting them. A whole bunch of characters, actually. Wait, there's actually a cleared game on here. Then why didn't only? This one show up. All right, you know what? Save this and go over to that one. Because then I actually have choices of weapons. I'll be back. Okay, so it was my original intention to go all the way to a certain point, but then I got bored. But, uh, no. The save file does work on more or less back where I left off. This is actually my round three playthrough. Yeah, I played through it that many times. But, uh... You can see that this plasma cutter has 20 rounds, and it sets things on fire as well. We'll see that in a minute. Does it really work if I just shoot it at the ground? Hey, look. To toy train. Also, those tracks right there, they always derp out. I think they always derped out on, like, no matter what platform you played this on. This game was also... This game was also really fucking well optimized. Cause, um... I... Uh, Alright, back in the day, uh, when I originally played the Dead Space games, um, I really needed a graphics card to run them. But, um, my computer didn't have one, so when I got Dead Space 1, um, I couldn't run it, but then when I finally got the graphics card, it looked okay. But then this came out, it ran better than the original Dead Space on, uh, my really crappy machine that had 2 gigs of RAM and a GeForce 8400 GS. There's some ancient tech there for ya, a GeForce 8400 GS. You could probably get those on, uh, you could probably get those for like, actually now I'm curious. <laughs> GeForce 8400, Th those go for like 50, 50, 30 dollars now. That's some ancient tech for you. <laughs> Jesus. But no, this thing ran like a fucking champ. Like an absolute, wonderfully, wonderfully optimized game. I do not know why they do not optimize games like this anymore. Thanks, NVIDIA, for being absolute dicks to about uh, that one Arkham game. Did I miss this text log? This is a becoming agitated, memory erasing drugs. 
That is exactly what the log said. You can't argue with me. You saw the text. <laughs> Where am I going? This way. <laughs> I got lost somewhere. Oh yeah, now we run into this doucher. Uh, 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 you're not gonna see why I call him a doucher until like, you know. You know, he had eight ample time to duck underneath that. That's actually some really good lip movement. All right, so my plasma cutter sets things on fire. Watch. You can't really see it, but it's there. Also, it just kills everything. Legs, limbs, everything. This is probably the most overpowered thing for me to have at the beginning of the game. Yay, med pack. All right, we done? Dana? Power node. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you mm. a new route. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! Uh, the reception desk, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right now, I just want to get to the gun store, okay? <laughs> That's, like, what I really want to do. I think I beat this uh, on uh, Hardcore, actually. Um, and the hardcore mode for this game was really fucking interesting. In that, uh, you, you could only save three times. No, I'm not kidding. You could only save the game three times and then it locked you out. See? Otherwise, this guy insta kills you. Okay. Now we need to stasis the door because this thing scans, blah, blah, blah. You know, if everyone has goddamn. St okay, it's the pukers. These are a new enemy that they introduced to, uh. Dead Space. Dead Space 2. They puke all over you. But no, I had some interesting experiences with this game. Like, uh, the guy who, uh, moved that one save file over. Okay, I'm not even kidding. This is literally what he did. He took a save file from the, uh, Xbox 360 version of the game and moved it over to the PC version and it worked. But the thing is, this clearly isn't a bare bones PC port because it's optimized all to hell. This came out in 2011. And it was running on a computer that had a floppy drive. The only advantage that computer had was a, was a decent graphics card. That's fuck? it. I can see you. <laughs> That looked real. That actually looked way better on my old computer because she was like completely concealed, and then the fucking eyes just came out of nowhere, and I'm like, "Oh, that's creepy." <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, it was atmospheric. That scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Actually, no, that was four years ago. Fuck, I wasn't a kid. <laughs> 
All right, so I mentioned a tidy, squeaky mouse uh, in uh, the in uh, when I played Dead Space One. It's this one. Here it is. It's the best goddamn thing in this game, probably. I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. All right, hold on. You can. Heck, you, you can't really take it with you, but... Oh no, my mouse! You can sort that only a few windows have that, uh, thing. I think I could go back for another one, hold on. There might be more than one. <laughs> I don't think there is. But hey, there's a power node on it. Oh, no, wait, there is! Gimme, 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 gimme. Wait, is that... Is that... Nailed down... Oh, no, wait, it isn't! Thought it was nailed down to the environment. Alright, so see, the thing with uh, items in these games is that... Once the door closes... Disappears, but the thing is, hmm, it, it it still registers the thing as being there. You're alive. No, you're not. I killed it. Okay, so hold on. What's this? Engineering elite suit. Huh. I don't have that yet? Weird. <laughs> That's weird. It's weird that I don't have that. The engineering elite suit. It's essentially just a gold engineering suit. You know, like the, you know, like the suit I had in the last one. Wait, it... I, I didn't click anything. I want to choose a suit. I have all these special suits. Like the agility suit. I want to choose one. What did you give me? What is this? I don't recognize this suit. This might be the Earth Gov suit. No, wait, no, this isn't the Earth Gov suit. It's something else. I don't know what suit this is. Store up, store updated, yay. Okay, so yeah, I got all my stuff here. EarthGov pulse rifles, all kinds of crazy shit in here. And a fuckload of credits, you're welcome. <laughs> a what? That's here? Nice, buy it! This, this one doesn't always work, but for whatever reason, I really screwed up my dead space. This suit doesn't always work, and the fact that I have it available on the PC for you all available today is actually kind of special. This kind of isn't even a suit, look at it. <laughs> also, the helmet is just it's like a gas mask, sort of. This is the hacker suit. To get this suit, you had to play Dead Space Ignition on the Xbox 360, and then that data would transfer over to um, Dead Space 2, and that would unlock doors, and behind one of those doors was this suit. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Oh, that's already in my inventory? Then why is it? <gasps> yes! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Who oh, the fuck would use a contact beam? <laughs> Let me check the safe. Oh, God. My safe. Overstocked with things. I hear all my suits. The advanced suit, the agility advanced suit, some flamethrowers. The ripper. Yeah. The elite engineering suit. Yeah, like I said, it's just a golden engineering suit. Elite vintage suit. I don't see how you could get elite with that. <laughs> I really don't. 
I also have the refurbished plasma cutter because I played Dead Space 1. Uh, seeker rifles. Aha! The rivet gun! It's useless. <laughs> it, that was a pre order bonus from GameStop, but I think it was only available for consoles. Again, the fact that I have it, you're welcome. I have all this neat stuff on my thing. Not everyone has these. You had to, like, get a save file that unlocks all the console stuff. And, of course, I have Pang. There's always Pang. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna need some bullets for these guns, I guess. Actually, hold on. There is one gun that I can always use for free, and that's this thing. This is the hand cannon. You get it by beating the game on, uh... Hardcore difficulty, which I did. This is actually a legitimate thing that I did. This is an insta-kill device. It just kills everything that you hit it with. That you hit with it. See? It even, like, works on chairs. Instantly dismembers limbs. Like, pretty much every limb. Unlimited ammo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's just a foam finger. You could sell it for like nothing. <laughs> Primary fire. Press press this mouse button to go bang bang. Press space to go pew pew pew. Real space, real terror, real foam. Primary fire damage plus 20%. Alright, move it over. I'm not gonna give myself a completely unfair advantage. I don't think I even use, like, small med kits. Yeah, look at that. I barely use them. Some plasma cutter ammo. Pulse rifle ammo. Ripper blades, I do need those. Wait, seriously? I only have one thing of ripper blades, better go buy more. Okay, that's probably good on ripper blades. Actually, I can uh, fit a few more in there. Three, that's twelve, one more. Okay, good. That's four slots of Ripper Blades. And I also have a slot for one more gun. I don't like the line gun. Flamethrower is pretty good in this. Now let's go Seeker Rifle. Let's get a Seeker Rifle in this. Here, the EarthGov Seeker Rifle. Alright, hold on. Okay, that's ammo for all four guns that we're gonna- Oh, uh, no, wait. It may be an unlocked suit, but I don't want it. <laughs> no, nah, actually, I do have a favorite suit. It's, uh, I wonder if I have it available. Uh, I think it's the Riot security suit. Oh, there is the EarthGov security suit. Let's call the Riot one. I do like the Riot one. He's just wearing fucking jeans. Oh yeah, they really improved the uh, zero G in this game too. Like, like they, they, like, this was actually a game that they looked at it and said, "All right, let's, let's fix all of the issues that the third game had." But then with the third game, they didn't look at it and say, "Let's refine this." Alright, yeah, now that I look at this suit, I'm really not feeling it. I don't know, it's just something about the suit that just doesn't sit well with me. i tell you what, why don't we go with a surefire thing that I'm sure to love. Because I look at the action figure every day. Seriously, I have the action figure of this next suit. It's actually a really cool action figure, because the helmet lights up and everything. And so does the rig. It's a really cool action figure. This is the advanced suit. 
This is the suit that appears in all of the trailers, all of the advertisements for this game, and everything. The advanced suit. This was the game's signature suit, just like how the snow suit was the uh, signature suit for the third game. Alright, let's get a move on. It looks very thin, doesn't it? Yeah, the three minutes of air in the future. Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> Trying to see if there's anything else out there. There's a power node. I think there is actually something out there, but I, I can't really be bothered to go grab it. Three minutes of air in this hyper-advanced future. Okay. So this is, um... This kind of music right here, this is a new gun that they added to, uh, Dead Space 2. This is the Seeker Rifle. It's sort of like a sniper. Here, you can zoom in. It does a ton of damage. If we go over here, we have to fight a thing. Pardon me, I need to fight a thing. Where are the weak spots? Fuck, I can't even see him. Oh, there they are. Ah! <laughs> Trying to stasis the bastard. Up, your arm's gone. Both your arms are gone. And he's dead. Wait, is he? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Okay. Okay, now he's dead. I knew that was gonna happen. Jesus! Jesus. There's a Z in there. Station is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on. I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer blah, blah, you're away, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tyburn tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We should be coming up to a bench. I can upgrade the living hell out of this uh, Seeker rifle for you guys. So you guys can see what that looks like. I have 37 or more power nodes, so... It won't be too big of an issue. There's also another store up ahead. I know that for a fact. I know all of this game, okay? Like uh, these vents are new. The vents are new to this game, and actually, they're only in this game. Actually, technically, they were in Dead Space Extraction. That was the Dead Space Rail Shooter, which actually really wasn't that bad. It really was not that bad. Audio log. It's about taking off limbs. Listen up. This is Sorensen from CEC. Come off their limbs. It's the only See? way. See? <laughs> I remember one time I went through the entirety of uh, the game with nothing but a pulse rifle. Actually, the pulse rifle got upgraded. We'll go over that in, in just a second. Okay, so, bench. Are these upgraded? Yeah, these are upgraded. So it's just, um, in the Ripper. Oh no, Ripper needs upgrades. I can just place these down. Alt fire. That's everything for the alt fire. You're welcome. Duration. Damage. Capacity. Duration. And reload. Alright, now we move on to the, uh, wait, plasma cutter? Oh, no, no, it's good. Alright, the seeker rifle did not have anything on it either. Probably just gonna go over to the store and buy a bunch of these. <laughs> Cause I can do that! I just threw a lot of nodes at that. <laughs> That's okay, I'm rich, so... 
I could throw like half my money at these. It gets down to 35,000. Okay, yeah, that's good. 35,000 credits. Is 350,000. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Up. Oh, wait, gotta do this. Do this shit. There. Alt fires fully upgraded. Damage and capacity fully upgraded. There. That's a fully decked out arsenal. Also, they um, changed the way the pulse rifle works, too. Because, um, because you remember how I complained about the alternate fire of this? Well, now the alternate fire does this. That's a grenade! And the reload looks way better. Check it out. That actually looks like he's putting a fucking clip in the gun. Sorry, magazine. I know for a fact that some people really get pissed off about that. Not mentioning any names here. Tell it. Hi, Director Tideman. I'm Isaac Clark. You're a bad guy in this game. Actually, he's a, he, he, he's a jerk, okay? He's a douche. Earth Gov our lives. Yeah, I know Earth Gov our lives. The government is a bunch of liars. It's run by liars. It's nothing but liars. Oh, really? Can't pick up anything in here? I'll tell you why I can't pick up shit. <laughs> I'm carrying semi- I'm carrying semiconductors. What was that item? Uh, it's a small med pack. I don't need that. So yeah, this is just me with a fully decked out thing. Fully decked out care. Fully decked out Isaac Clark. I don't need this much plasma cutter ammo, do I? No. I also don't need this much ripper ammo. I will fucking love the ripper in this game. The Ripper isn't, uh, new, actually. It's a, uh, It's, uh, returning, uh, weapon from, uh, the last game. Does this shit. The alt fire's kinda useless. It does this. I like it just keeping the saw blade out in front. That looks really cool to me. And a lot of people do love that. Alright, let's move. Shut up, Director Tideman. By the way, no, I don't know how that's a reload, but it's an improvement over the last game. Also, this thing just destroys. It just destroys. That is all it is capable of doing. Destroying. Okay, elevator. Lights go out. Give it a moment. <laughs> there they go. Door opens. There's a guy there that wants help but gets hit by Necromorph. Yeah, I, I, I know all of this game. Okay. <laughs> I I know all of this game. Like for example, we look over there. Hey, it's Dolan Strauss. If you look at his thing over there, you can see that it thinks we're wearing the engineering suit. See? Look at that. <laughs> right there comes up the thing. I shoot off the chair. Actually, wow. No, that thing just died. <laughs> Never mind. We go this way. I know all of this game. You stand here long enough, she starts screaming. There's the screaming. <laughs> all right, she's not leaving without her mother. And then that door blows open. And then I shoot it in the leg. 
Jesus. I know it's powerful, but... This thing's, like, really powerful. Yeah, Seeker Rifle is a really powerful weapon, especially when you're dismembering people. I can't believe it didn't get nerfed, honestly. I really do love the Pulse Rifle in this game, though. I, I once went through the entire game with, with just the Pulse Rifle. It's a pretty good gun. And now we're stuck in here. Actually, look at that. It it thinks we're wearing the engineering suit, but I love the the lighting effects that are just coming off the helmet. That looks really cool. That's pretty fucking cool. Come on, you gotta admit. They did the same thing in Dead Space 3, too. And it looked really good. Anyone else? Hi! Have a grenade. Normally I struggle ever so slightly with that. Oh god, stasis pack. Still the most useless thing in the game. Always the most useless thing in the Dead Space franchise. Stasis packs. You have to fucking go into your inventory to use them, and it's just a mess. Also, I rarely use stasis. I do just fine without it. This guy, uh, th this guy, uh, you walk up to the door, he claims he's not opening the door for anyone, and that he's armed, and he'll fucking kill you if you try to go in there. I know everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, some people might say that I played this game too much, but it was really good, okay? I remember seeing the, uh... There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire Hold on. Infected? How this happened? The marker was destroyed, and I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyvon built another one. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tideman wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino tower's currency. Dana? Damn it. But anyway, I remember um, when I first heard about this game, it was it was amazing. I saw it was a uh, a Game Informer magazine cover that I first heard about th that I first saw anything about this game, and. Uh, it got me really excited, and then I saw the trailer, and it was really exciting. Then, then I realized that, hey, now that I have this new graphics card, I might actually be able to play it. Oh god, someone left a... Who the fuck leaves a baby behind? It's like, oh, we're evacuating. Leave the infant. <laughs> That's a good idea. I forgot you were there, sorry. I can't be expected to remember every single tiny thing. Okay? Leave me alone. I remember a very large bridge. Oh, jeez. Bunch of cracks. Hi. Keep going. It's a really cool game. Very cool game. And very well made. You can definitely tell that they did put time and effort into making this. Alright, so we got the exploding arm dudes. Also, there's a thing over there. Let's see what I tell you. Exploding arm guy. Ah, I forgot one that comes up behind me. 
I remember the vast majority of this early game, though. Probably shouldn't have been standing that close. Though it really doesn't matter because I could just pump the dude full of meds. Oh yeah, now the train station gets fucked up. Uh, we go up here, what's her face is standing there, and, and I'm not just saying that because you can see her up there. But then a burning train goes by. Yeah. Choo choo, motherfucker! Ah, burning train. IGN approved of this game. Oh shit, that's right. There's an asshole in there. One of the uh, necromorph makers. They call them necromorph makers. Well, now this is a dead necromorph maker. Grenades. I don't know why they're all dropping line racks. So now we go to the back of the train. The hacker's suit makes it so that uh, you only have to do this thing uh, two times, but then again, the hacking in this game really isn't that annoying, so... Just, just deal with it. Also, apparently doing that fucking... Got the train moving. Hold on, I was picking which weapon I wanted to kill you with. Door's locked. Please remain seated. You have the fucking holes. You have the poles that imply that people can stand. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the throw up slows you down a little bit. It really doesn't do much damage. Maybe like the tiniest bit. I don't know how I'm breathing. This train bit always confused me. Oh, and this fucking bit. I, I, I love it when Isaac Clark just goes and does this shit, Superman! Wish I could fly like a Superman. Isaac Clark can do it. And they do the, the E spam. It's so cool. Uh, they do that a couple more times throughout this game. I love it. It's really cool. They, they sort of brought it back for uh, the third game. For like one section. Where you were like dodging shit in a minefield. And it was... It was interesting. Yeah, hold on to a pole, dude. Or don't just like And then there's this bit where we hang upside down for like a goddamn eternity. At least I give you ammo. And these things. I don't get these things. Check them out. They got like barbs on them. There's one thing that, uh, when you chuck them, like a bunch of spikes fall, pop out of them. I don't know why. Uh, though you can chuck brooms at these dudes. And then there's this giant thing. And its arm's gone. <laughs> and it fails. So yeah. Dana, I need a new route. What happened? I thought we lost you. Unscheduled stop. Where am I? How did you end up there? Hang on. 
This won't be the most pleasant route, but it'll get you to the Cassini Towers residential sector. Damn it! Timon has your signal again. Keep moving. Okay. You're very important to the Isaac. Hold tight. I'll contact you soon. Yeah, goody. So that's Dead Space 2, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I've been going for long enough. If you want to pick this up, this is one of the few um, EA games that are available on Steam. Uh, or you can also pick this up on, or, on Origin if you really fucking wanna. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. I don't know what it's gonna be. I, I, I rarely know what it's gonna be, don't I?